Hello guys, welcome to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, this game, for those of you that don't know about this game, it's basically like the Binding of Isaac with guns. So, I've only played the tutorial for a bit and I've watched the trailer. Looks really interesting with all those guns that you can collect, just like the Binding of Isaac, with all those collectibles. So, let's start the game right now. Alright, we got four characters, the marine, the pilot, the convict, and the hunter. Let's just go with the... Uh, let's, just, let's go with the hunter, because there's a dog there. Yeah. Micro transaction gun. Yep, I bought the collector's edition. What's this called? This? Co-op? No, I don't have a second player. L. L, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I was like you once. Came to change the past. And now I have no future. <laughs> Alright, let's get in here. See what's, what's up with that. Halls of Knowledge, Chamber Zero. Eh, uh, that's the tutorial guy. Why would so approach me and press E to speak? For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words and I shall show you how to survive this accursed leverage. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Let's go. Onwards. Yeah, you can flip the tables around, move them around, use them as cover. I, I, I think it's pretty smart. Yeah, you can destroy all these props. A chance of item in it. You can even kick these barrels. Ah, that's pretty cool, right? Alright, next challenge. What's this? This is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by pressing right click and the direction. You are invulnerable to the gunfire during the first half of your dodge roll but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires precise timing. When you give the word I'll open the barrier, use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without perishing. Wait until the last second, then press right click to begin the row. Are you begin are you ready to begin the test? Alright. I'm ready. Dash row. Dash row. This this is pretty cool. Dash row. Can we jump over the pit? door is open, but you've got one last pit to cross. Ah, uh -huh. Dodge show is first, and best way to avoid dying in the first place. Sometimes though, the numbers of bullets can be overwhelming. Yep, that's, that's a lot. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there's a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in the room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. It will also push nearby enemies away. Brief if you need a second to reposition. Pick them up by walking over them. Let's pick them up. Use them by pressing the Q button. Use a blank to clear the way of bullets. And then quickly make it through the gap. Alright. Blanks. Cross. Let's refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can be found in throughout the gungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. Alright. What's this? What's this challenge now? Get basics. Yeah, we must have gun. A pea shooter. Nice. First gun. Reload with R. First you need something to shoot. Bullet with a gun. 
Alright, I will kill the bullet with my pea shitter. Next room, we will done fights. Kill all the enemies and the door will open. Alright. Is that cover? Hello? Shit, a few times. Oh yeah. Wonder what those looks perhaps. Is this the door? No, no, it's not. It's cover. Let's try using this arrow. Whoa! That's great. Dodge. Dodge. Two shots. Dodge! Woo! I think I need them. Shotgun with a shotgun. Shotgun shell with a shotgun. Alright. Dodge roll, shoot, and use blanks. But there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in its gun form. A mat kit. Vanish by health by clicking the E button. Alright. Oh, I, re I can replenish my health by pressing the E button. Oh no, space. Ah uh, yeah. Oops, I accidentally did it. Doesn't matter, I'll get one other one soon enough. That's a teleporter. And if I find one, you can always return there as long as you aren't in combat. Use it first. Open the map by holding tab. Then click on the symbol you wish to warp to. Got it. Okay. Oh there. Tap. Nice. You can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just once in the same room. But it won't work if you are in a combat. Press E while standing on that portal, and you can use it to teleport back. I'll be waiting a few more rooms north of here. Okay, challenge boss. Uh, our first dungeon. Oh, is that a grenade? Oh my god, I see it. No bullet shooting bullets. Is it that cannibalism? <laughs> Shut the eyes. I'll pick out a few of these bullets. Bullet enemies. I think those are bullets. I, I can't make it. Okay. Not sure what are those. Next one, there's a teleport in here. This is a boss room, so we just good that. We just skip that first and let's go explore around. More enemies. Okay. Nice. Use that as cover. Whoa! I didn't see that one coming. Looks like there's a crack here. But how do I get through it? Do I have, do I have a grenade that I can throw? Do I have to use this blank? Oh yeah! You can use the blanks to open the pathway. It's a shield. And there's a... All Night Helm for text knowledge. I wonder what does he do? How do I open a... Autonomic ammo? Ammonomicon! Injection gun, oh next year is drawn the shit out. Oh so these are uh, collectibles and you'll find it inside the dungeon when you find them. So it's like binding of Isaac, you collect the stuff. The stuff that you collect you can find find them in the dungeon and you can use it later on. So it's like a roguelike shooter with random generated maps, I suppose through here. Hmm. Yeah, through here. Whoa, look at that. Whoops. Oh, yeah, few shots at these guys. How they get? Hmm. Those are not ammo. Those are I think those are the currency for the game. I'm using bullets. I'm just guessing. If you have two or more guns, hold control to slow time and pick the one you want. You also control to switch guns. Okay, so you got a AK-47, I guess. Yep. AK-47. Nice. Let's let's fight the boss now. Well, if I the 
final stage. And for the boss, the final challenge with this. Yes, let's do this. Boss is him. Right. Shenanua. Oh, so it's kind of like a shooter plus bullet hell. True, I've never completed I never conquered the dungeon. I no longer sure if this even is the dungeon. How humiliated. It's all that bastard's fault. Whose fault? That snake blocked me. We were supposed to be partners. But shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I woke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted a gun for himself, but he must not have made it. How do you know he would make it? Because if Blockner had changed the past, he would never have come to the dungeon, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must have left. Are we stuck in the dungeon too? It would serve the bastard right. If you find him, tell him man says hi. If you know what I mean. I right, got it. So he wants me to kill that guy. Block there. Thing. Anyways, I've got nothing I should give shit. Alright. So we just passed the tutorial stage. And we just starting our first first gungeon. Alright, during this leaf. Alright, hmm, it's pretty interesting. So, you got options to choose another character to play with. You don't have to choose one character. And I wonder what the dog is for. Had these dogs anyway. So, yeah, if you have another player, you can use the cultists, I guess. Yeah, so, just, just for those of you guys that didn't know, you can actually use a controller to play the game. I actually have my controller, a DualShock 4 controller I can use. And it actually maps it with the DS4 controller. It's pretty well made actually. Well, I'm just gonna stick with my keyboard. You know, just because it gives me precise control of where I can shoot. So. Let's begin. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, should let me. I'm not ready to enter the dungeon. Uh, this is pretty cool. Alright. So, I'm just gonna end this episode. So, the episode is just for the tutorial. To give you a general idea of what dungeon is about. And... Stay tuned for my part 2 of Enter the Gungeon and see how I tackled the Gungeon. Alright, see you guys.